hardest life. Yeah, just in the workshop, we're gonna work on a new guitar shape, the Ash Cloud. Um, I've been building guitars for, I guess, the last 10 years. Um, so yeah, I just never really liked the generic shapes that are out on the uh, shelf there. I've got Tim here. He's gonna help me build this guitar. He's gonna work on the neck. Yeah, I've known Matt for 20 years and it was obvious right from the get-go that he had talent. Um, not just his painting and his art, it was his music and his lifestyle, his rock climbing, his surfing, it was absolutely fantastic. I'm going to work on the body and also I've been developing this drum kit, um, this knuckle thumper drum kit. Man. I thought why not, if I can build a custom made guitar, why can't I build a custom made drum kit? I mean this thing's awesome. Lump of Queensland red cedar I scored the other day, Tim. Wow, man, that yeah. looks absolutely wild. That's yeah. going to make a wicked looking guitar, mate. Yeah, I'm going to use it for the face of the guitar. I'm going to use the size, a bit of uh, western red cedar. Oh, good colour contrast. <laughs> what do you got there? Look at the Jesus nail ripped out of this bugger. Oh, that's got to be 1800s at least. <laughs> that's how old this timber is. Wow. So I'll get you uh, working on the uh, neck here, if you like. No worries, So if you want to start marking that out, I'll get right oh, on it, Start it on that. So I'm going to get my cousin in, Ted. He's going to help me build some floor toms for this drum kit. I've only got the two kick drums and the snare done so far. Um, but yeah, we're going to do the floor toms either side of you. Um, and at the end of the week also, we're going to have a bit of a jam session down at the, the town hall with the lads. Obviously, I'm not going to get the uh, drum kit done. I mean, that thing's a monster. Um, but I would like to get the guitar done and see how that sounds. It's going to be awesome. I mean, the band though he doesn't have a singer yet. I'll get right on it. Started on that. How you going? How you going, dude? Good to see you again. Tim, yeah, how are you? You good? Good, yes. thanks, mate. Yeah. Ash Cloud, looking good? Yeah, we're going to get started on this now. Coming together? Yeah, yeah. Great. Uh, where do you want me? I'll get you on the Tom, mate, so if you want to grab yep. that. Sure. Yeah. And uh, what's your plan of action? Uh, we just got to bevel the edges here, as you can see, but I really want to make another set for the 18 inch Tom. Okay, yeah. so here's your legs. Yeah, I've got a template here marked out. Perfect. So we've just got to mark this out. Then we can cut the notches out, see here, for the hoops to fit in. So okay, great. we can great. do that first, and then we can start uh, doing the bevels on these. And you've one. got two large, two small, I see. Yeah. yeah. Great, great, I can do that. Yeah. Um, this isn't going to be ready for... No, God, no. Okay, no. But the ash cloud will be ready for... Yeah, yeah, I'm dying to hear that. Is there going to be a singer ready for the... Uh... Nah, not at this stage, but hopefully we'll find one. Good luck with that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to start with the body anyway. So... I've known Tim for about 20 years now, and as you do as mates, you roll down the pub and have a few beers, you crank the tunes, and Tim would start singing like Eddie Vedder style, man, like he would actually turn heads in the pub. Well, as far as the singing is concerned, I have had some formal training in the Adelaide School of Music where I sang with a, a group called the Monteverdi Choir. A great place to learn to sing, um, they give you your range, your pitch, your control. Um, it, it was a really good thing to go and do. You could really, really hit a note and hold it. Hold it, that's what we really, really want for our band. I 
really want to try and get him involved, eh? The, the whole idea of me singing in a band as opposed to the choir is that um, in a choir you can hide and in a band you're singularly alone up there bearing your soul. So that's one of the reasons why I won't sing in Max's band. <laughs> Back in the dusty old shed here for another day's work. Tim has set the truss rod in to the neck. We've glued the fretboard on. We're just waiting for all that to cure. I've set the face of the body onto the sides of the body and we just glued that on waiting for that to cure too. Ted has notched out the notches in the legs to fit the inner hoops and we're going to get all that together, get all that glued together and next we can clad that with the Jarrah floorboards. Tim has a bit of a phobia about singing. He really thinks that he can't sing in public, but I really don't think so. I really want him to try and sing in our band, you know? I've got Gav coming in today. Uh, he's my drummer. We're building this custom-made drum kit for his dimensions, his size, where he's gonna strike the toms. So we're gonna get him in, measure up where the toms are gonna be from the floor, the distance out, all that type of stuff and uh, it's pretty exciting stuff because I've never seen a kit like this ever before um, regardless of the, the kind of sound that's going to come out of this thing so um, I'm, I'm, the thing that excites me mainly is, is the size of the drums and the, the way that they're uh, designed uh, with the inner hoops inside and um, I can't wait to give this good thing a bashing because it, it's just amazing. So we're going to just head back out get with uh, Ted again, we're going to actually start cladding these toms around the outside with the shell um, and then we can fit the inner hoops and put the skins on. Go from there. Bang. Alright Matt, I think I've got that perfect now. Yeah. Him. Oh, just this little bit here. Oh, I didn't cut see the... that. Yeah, I did mark it out on a template because I didn't know where this was going to end up. Sure. So. Cut that little round piece out, and then what we're gonna do, and then um, just mark the center here. Sure. Bang, bang, and bang, about 15 mil. I want to put a bevel on this, so oh, so match at both sides. Yeah, um, bevel on that, so it's yeah pointed, I guess. I got it. I got it. Um, so you can do that on the uh, liner shaft you've finished on the band saw too. Okay. So it'll take you a little while. No problem. Do I need that? I don't need yeah. that. Okay. So uh, Tim and I, we've dipped out of the workshop and snuck down here because the waves are good. Um, I managed to get a bit of time and talk to Tim about his fears and his issues with singing in public. I, uh, you know, I hope I got in his head a bit. He told me about how it's about the presenting in front of a lot of people and being judged. Well, you know, I hope what I said was helpful because, you know, there's no one really there to judge him but, you know, people that he should be able to trust because they're, you know, in the band as well. So we went out for a surf the other day and awesome surf, great waves, good winds, good times and uh, Ted wanted to chat and he wanted to talk to me about this bloody singing issue. How long have you known Matt? 20 years. Do, do you trust him? I trust Matt, yeah. Okay, so you trust his judgement? I do trust his judgement. So can you trust that maybe he hears something in you when you're off singing after a few drinks in the pub? when you're singing over the top of the buzzsaw in the workshop, that he hears something 
that in his judgment, he thinks is worth putting with the performance. Well, yeah, I guess so, but that's his judgment. You know, I'm getting judged by a lot of people up on stage. That's my block, being judged by people. Yeah, but there's no one in the audience at this stage. It's just a bunch of guys jamming in a hall, playing some tunes, him with his instruments that he's made, and you with your instrument that he wants to put into that combination. Oh, wow, if you put it like that, that's really food for thought. That's, that's worth thinking about. Look, I appreciate what he's trying to do. He's trying to open me up and, and get, me to, get me to come out and sing, but um, I'm just not ready for that. The, the confidence level on, for me is, uh, yeah, I, I, I'd rather still sing into a pillow or sing at a wall or be in the car. I can't seem to get myself out in front of people at this stage. So, unfortunately, everything that Ted's trying to do is uh, falling on deaf ears. Well, not deaf ears, but definitely... Uh, they won't, I won't be getting on stage. That's not going to happen. If Matt likes it and Matt wants it, you know, I'm going to try and help Matt get there. So, you know, this might not be the last time I bring this up. G'day, knackers. How are you Oh, look at this. What have you been up to? That looks amazing. Look at that co colour contrast that we were talking about. Ooh, look at that, man. Ooh, nice. I'll wet it. See the colour. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Have a look how that's coming up. It's going to look like when it's clear. That's a lot darker, isn't it? Yeah, but it's just like. Um, so, what would you like me to get on with? Uh, yeah, the uh, headstock, mate. Headstock? Yeah, just right. grab the neck and cut the headstock shape out. And we can start sanding and doing all that type of stuff. We'll get to it. And drill the tuning fork. Thanks. So this gold leafing that you see that I put on my guitars, like you don't see that with a bought guitar out of a shop. I mean, it's just a little bit more quality that I add to my instruments. I learned this technique as a songwriter in my apprenticeship. I was uh, voted the number one songwriter in Australia. And through my apprenticeship, I actually just picked up the airbrush. I thought, you know, I'll give this a go. I, you know, I was just interested. And within about three years of dabbling, I'd be painting all these pictures of AC, DC and Kiss. I was actually voted the number one airbrush artist in Australia too. Now these paintings I did of ACDC Kiss and Slipknot and Fear Factory, I actually got them signed by these bands, you know. I've got like 50 odd paintings signed man. It's an awesome feeling to go backstage and meet these guys. Um, yeah, but I think I took a bit of a break there for a while, I just got burnt out. Um, and then after a couple of years I come back to it, I took a whole new spin on this airbrushing thing. Um, and I started punching out all these graffiti bugs and these lips with the graffiti. I'm punching it heaps better material now than I was when I was actually awarded this award. Um, I guess it all started when I was eight years old and my grandfather just, he was, a, he was a sign writer and he taught me how to write in calligraphy when I was eight years old and that's where it all sort of like started for me. Alright mate, you good? Good thanks Ted. Yeah, yeah good mate. Just gonna focus on the field. On the field mate, yeah. There you are. Thanks for that. Knackers? Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, look at this! Yeah, I've been busy. You're turning into a real luthier now, aren't you? Hey? Yeah, I just wanna start the gold leaf. So. Oh well, get on that now. Let's get you on the gold leaf, because you are the master. So there we all are, working away in the shed and I've gone off to get a screwdriver, I'm looking in the cupboard. 
bugger me if there's not a cupboard full of beautiful artworks. Now, for me, all these beautiful artworks, he's not even showing them. For me, that's almost interesting that he's not showing his artwork, but he's asking me to sing, bear my soul. I can't see that being very fair. I can't see that fair at all. I'm not singing. Just bring that uh, neck over here, Tim. I just wanted to make sure it still fits. No worries, Max. Yes, she is. Yeah. So here it is, eh? Oh, oh look at that. that. Complete. Just got to get the hardware on there. Yeah. You should be ready for all right, coming together. Oh, good. Showing it. Yes. All coming yeah. together. Yep. So is that everything all coming together, or are we still sort of short something? Oh, come on, Tim. You're not going to bring that up. I mean, I've asked him 15 years. He's, you know, I mean, he's, he's a whim, he's just pussing out every time I ask oh, him. Oh, come on, come on. If you're going to start, look, no. I had a good talk with Ted about this in the surf, mate, and I was turning the corner. I had actually started yeah, to turn the corner. If you're going to start talking to me like that, no way. I'm not, I'm not interested, oh, no. mate. Oh, no, I'm right. not interested. I'll get, I'll get something else, mate. No. Well here we are back in the shed and uh, we've got the ash cloud guitar well underway. Uh, we've had it shaped and sanded, uh, we've had it cleared, we've, uh, we're bolting the neck to the body and uh, in the meantime Matt and Ted are still harping on about me singing in this band. I can tell you this, this whole singing thing it's not going to happen. <sighs> Another day. Oh <laughs> shiny. So, um, something's different here. You've changed the pickups. Yeah, oh, yeah, last night. I just didn't like the single core pickups, so I've swapped them out for the humbuckers here. They're broader. Yeah, so I've had to recut all these holes, and because of that, I've had to um, redo all the gold Realign leaf. Realign the gold leaf. So, yeah, How long did that take you? Bit of a stressful night last night. <laughs> yeah, a while. Like? But I, 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 I got it to a point where I just needed to get it done, so. Right, well, um, speaking of getting it done, where are we up to next? Uh, oh, I've got to fit the, um, fit the pickups, fit the neck, um, wire it all up, then we've just got to string it up and see how it sounds, so. Sure, let's put the neck um, on. Put the neck on ever so slowly. Remember that old, um, that old nun, uh -huh. that old Jesus nun? Yes, yes. I actually uh, casted that in there, so it's a little bit of heavy metal for everyone. Heavy metal history. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, so we'll get the neck on So for this stage of the game, we're going to start wiring up the guitar. Um, but before all that, I've got to put the pots in, put the input jack, uh, the toggle switch, uh, the machine heads, all that type of stuff. The gold hardware is going to look awesome against the Queensland Red Cedar. Um, I can't wait. And then after that, I've actually got to set the strings in. It's called the action. So the strings to the, the fretboard. Um, it's actually really quite technical part of the build. Um, it's make or break really with the guitar. So hopefully I can get that sus too. Here, Here we, we go, go, mate. Moment of truth. Yep. Yeah. in. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> crikey. Spaghetti. Please. Get in tune a bit better. But it works. Alright, let's go. We're running late. Right, it's very late. Session. You gotta go. Let's go. See ya. So we rocked up at the uh, town hall here. We're full set up. We're just about to have a jam to see how this thing sounds. Plugged in, man. I mean, it sounds. Awesome, acoustically. Um, I've given Tim a, a ring, he, he wouldn't answer, so I um, texted him. He knows that we're playing today, whether he rocks up or not, it's another story. So, I mean, I want to hear what this thing sounds like. Yeah, man. Yeah, so I was sitting at home on my lounge and I was looking through my phone. I'd seen Knackers had sent multiple texts and phone calls and, you know, he's been my mate for a long time and I don't want to let him down and I sort of, I was feeling sick and, you know, nauseous and really horrible, but I had to do it. You know, this, this I had an epiphany. It was like, if I don't do this this time, it may never happen and I'll regret it for the rest of my life. So I got in my car and I bolted down at the last minute. They called me last 11th hour Timbo. 
So um, I got there and the band was playing and I just stepped in and went for it and my goodness, the confidence level, it was fantastic. Take one, take one out. I felt the vibe, it was fantastic. I'll be singing from now on, this is going to be mad. I, I just had a ball, it was just so, so awesome. Like, this has opened me up to something that has been blocking me for so long. Everything's going to be fantastic from now on, I'm going to love it. Yeah, well this thing's grand, but I was so glad that Tim rocked up, man. That just sent a buzz through my spine, man. I mean, for him to just rock up out of the blue, I was like, oh man. <laughs> just filled the room with so much energy like oh man I'm still a bit you know on edge of it like I loved it man.